Hi folks, Professor Amache here. Wanted to give you a demo of the Microsoft Live Preview extension. And this is going to be a really handy tool for you, not only in this class, but in your career going forward. So if you're ready, let's get started. Okay, so you probably noticed that uh, browser preview has been deprecated here. This is so crazy. No big deal. So what we do is we just go to Microsoft's live preview. We could do that by going like this. Okay, just look for live preview there and look for the one that is by Microsoft here. And as you can already tell, I already installed it, but you can go ahead and hit install here. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Okay, so we just go ahead and hit install there and we should be good. But let's give you an idea of what this looks like. I want to show you now. Like T2 case one? Sure. Let's go ahead and open this up then. So in this example, we have T2 case one and we can do this. So here's our completed HTML file that's right out here. And we can bring up our command palette doing live preview here. So we can do both. We can do the internal browser right here and have that go in there. And we can also copy out this URL and paste it into a new browser window could do it this way. That gives us access to Chrome DevTools, <laughs> right? So here's our elements, our console, if we were running JS here. Our sources, these are all of the files that are out here. We can get an idea of what the HTML is looking like here. But yeah, this just gives us a really nice way of looking at our changes. If we were to come out here and do um, something like lorem ipsum. <laughs> see, and you see these changes here out in real time. So we want to update that, then okay, no problem. So that's kind of nice. Even before hitting save and then viewing the changes here, you can kind of watch this in real time. Oh, that's right. If you ever need to stop this, uh, since this is running at your local host IP on port TCP 3000, if you ever need to stop it, you can come down to here where it says uh, port 3000 here and stop it this way. So you click on that and then do live preview stop server. Or you can do it this way. Bring up your command palette and then you can do live preview stop server here. Okay, so I hope this was helpful for you. Click that like button. And we'll see you on the next one.